Now, all these clauses operate in the context of a safety case. You absolutely have to have a written safety case to conform to 4600. So what's a safety case? Well, a safety case in general has three parts. One is a claim or a goal, such as system avoids pedestrians. That would actually be a, a subset of all the claims, but it's an example. There's an argument why this is true. For example, we plan to detect and maneuver to avoid pedestrians. And some evidence. You can't just argue. You have to have some evidence behind the argument. The evidence might be tests, analysis, simulations, various things. So the idea is the entire safety case is a chain of claims at the top, arguments in the middle, and evidence down at the leaves. Now, a single claim with a bunch of flat arguments probably isn't going to work out. So manage complexity and break down the task of assuring safety. There are typically subclaims. For example, argument two, if it has to do with uh, avoiding pedestrians, might be we avoid pedestrians, but we do it by detecting them. And then we maneuver around the detected pedestrians. And then we stop if we can't maneuver. 